Hello and welcome to this edition of KTN Africa Speaks, the 29th of November 2014. My name is Joy Doreen Bira and my Twitter handle at Joy Doreen Bira. Today we're using the hashtag Africa Speaks all the way through and our focus this time is going to be on ending violence against women. Uh, we have 15 days of activism and that is uh, to also make sure we reduce or even end it if uh, possible, ending women violence not just in Kenya but across the African continent and the world and you're free to share with us your views thoughts on what you think it will take to end uh, violence against women across Africa now let's start by taking a look at the top stories around the continent The president of Nigeria has vowed to leave no stone unturned in tracking down the perpetrators of a mosque attack that killed at least 81 people. Good luck, Jonathan, urged the nation to confront the common enemy after the gun and bomb attack during Friday's prayers in the northern city of Kano. Hundreds of people were injured in an attack which officials say bears the hallmarks of Boko Haram militant group. No one has so far said that they carried out Friday's assault. Kano's central mosque where the attack took place is where the influential Muslim leader, the Emir of Kano, usually leads prayers. He recently called for people to arm themselves against Boko Haram, so it is possible that the attack was in response to that call. Boko Haram, a Sunni Islamist group, has been waging an insurgency in Nigeria since 2009 and has killed more than 2,000 people this year, according to human rights groups. And French President Francois Hollande is visiting Guinea on the first trip by a Western leader to a country hit by the Ebola outbreak. After arriving in the capital, he told his hosts France had a duty to support them in the fight against the virus. More than 1,200 people have died of Ebola in Guinea and France has pledged 100 million euros to help tackle the disease by opening several care centers in Guinea, a former French colony. <laughs> A video of a child minder beating and kicking a toddler emerged at the weekend and has been widely shared on social media with many users expressing outrage. The 22-year-old woman seen in the video appeared in court and was initially charged with torture at the Nakal Magistrates Court in Uganda and was taken into custody at the Luzira prison until the 8th of December when she will reappear in the same court on the modified charge of attempted murder. The startling discovery was made after the child's father checked security cameras upon discovering bruises on her body. But now in a latest development, the child, Anella Kalmanzi, a two and a half year old, uh, is now admitted in hospital and is being monitored to see if she was injured internally.